Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to Ed Shed the Annex. It's freezing cold out there so we're not going outside, we're going to stay indoors and what we're going to look at is, cheers by the way, we're going to look at everyone's uh, favourite for when they go camping, it's an easy, easy meal. It's um, um, Everyone buys it, the all day breakfast in a tin. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let me get the ingredients on there. Can you see that? Well, oh, blimey. I mean, look at that. It's an all day breakfast in a tin. Uh, when you look at the cover, you've got sausage, um, a round bake anything I presume, uh, beans and a bit of a, a scotchy egg thing. Now you think there wouldn't be many ingredients in that, but look at that, look at that, that is just loaded with stuff. Um, I mean they're alright, they're convenient food and they're, they're easy to cook, um, they're ideal for when you go away. Uh, it says all day breakfast in tomato sauce with sausages, button mushrooms, chopped pork, egg nuggets. An egg nugget. What chickens lay egg nuggets? Uh, with cereal and bacon. Always a bonus. Uh, sell by date is... Let's see, I bought this last week. And the sell by date is August. So not too bad. You could keep it in the cupboard, in your pack for quite a while. Um, but like I say, it says egg, bacon, sausage, you know, it goes there. But the ingredients, well, I don't know. Let's have a look. Um, we've got beans, tomatoes, pork sausages, water, mushrooms, bacon, egg bites. We've gone from egg nuggets to egg bites. I don't know what an egg bite is, what chicken lays an egg bite. Uh, got bacon slice, sugar, modified maize. Oh, this it just goes on and on and on. Uh, and that, that was just the onion powder, um, paprika. There's flavoring. You got wheat flour. Uh, pork sausage contains 65% of pork, which ain't bad. Um, herb extracts. That's in the sausage. You've got. Um, the bacon and egg bites contain pork and egg. It contains 25% of egg. <laughs> you got a quarter of an egg in your egg bite. And then you got wheat, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it contains milk as well. Flavorings are maize, starch, potato powder, smoke flavoring, bacon size contents, uh, pork water, blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on and on. Um, and it says allergies in bold, and the bold are the bold allergies are wheat, egg, wheat, and milk. So if you're allergic to wheat, it's highlighted twice there. Um, as far as <laughs> as far as healthy food goes, well, I, I don't think um, I don't think it's going to be that healthy for you. But what it will do, let's get further back. It will it will fill a gap. That's what it's for. It's for filling a gap. So, oh dear. my kitchen, I don't even know where the drawer are. Let's open it, find out what's in it. What am I talking about? Find out what's in it. We know what's in it. Loads of stuff. Let's get kneeling down. Whenever I open a tin, I never open all the way around. I never let that bit drop in because when you, I know, oh, I, I feel silly telling you this, but when you open a tin, um, go nearly all the way around, and what happens is the edge of the tin flips up. That is much easier. That is much easier to get out than if you go all the way around and drop the lid in the mixture. All right, so. There you go, that's what it looks like. Pan. Slop. Right, 
them up. That's it. Okay. That's what it looks like in the uh, in the pan. Um, a fair amount of beans. Let me just. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get a sausage out, I'll get a piece of egg, the egg nugget, I'll get the egg nugget out, I'll get the sausage out, uh, and I'll get the bacon out, and I'll show you what they look like. Um, well, let's have a look. Get these out. I'm going to put, I'll put them back in, don't worry. Uh, okay, one of those. One of those, get that off. One of those. And we've got one of those. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We'll dive round. Excuse me first. I'm trying to stir with my knife here. Right. Yummy. It's like Saturday kitchen, but it's Sunday. Anyway, right. So. Let's show you what we got. We got. You're probably better off doing it like that. Okay, here we go. See that? There we go. We got one of those. That's your bacon. That's that's the bacon. That is the that's all you get in there. And I mean, you can see what it is. It's just it's well. It's probably an insult to call it bacon, isn't it? But that's what you get. Um, so look at that. You get, this is it. You, that is the bacon. You get one of those in the tin. You get two of these egg nuggets. And you get two of these sausages. Right, let's, let's cut into the egg nugget. That's your egg nugget. See that? That's your egg nugget. Now, you crack an egg, see how big the egg is? It ain't, honestly, uh, what, can I, what can I do to compare the size? Change. There's a 10 pence piece. That's how big the nugget is, all right? That's how big your nugget is. So, you're not getting a lot of nugget. Right, let's go into the sausage. And your sausage is, it's about, I don't know, two and a half inches long. And it is, it's that. It's, it's not made up of anything particularly sausagey. But, anyway, they're cheap. Let's put you back up here. Um, they're cheap. Get the pan. Right now, you remember in a previous video. I said to you, if you cut things up, they'll, they'll cook quicker. Well, that's, that's still the case. Even though you get things in a tin, um, and, the, and like the sausage, that sausage will cook slower than that bacon because it's bigger. It's, it's, it's just obvious. Um, and I know I'm doing this on a cooker, but even on your camping gas stove, same principle, heat, food, pan, all the same. Um, you've got to cook it slowly to allow the beans will cook in about a second. But your sausage and your your egg nugget will cook a little bit longer. Um, these these tins, they they really are. I mean, let's have a look. It's I think it was, it was, I think they're about a pound. I can't remember how much I paid for it. 
I think they're about a pound. Um, if you was to go to, if you go to a proper site or you go to a calf and you're going to spend maybe five quid, six quid, however much you spend on a full English breakfast, it's going to be a lot better than this. We all know that. This really is just a filler. Now you can see it's nice and it's nice and cooked. You can see that steam coming off it. Let's lay it out. I'd love to say when that came out of the pan it immediately looked more edible than when it was in the pan but unfortunately it looks exactly the same on the plate let's have a look let's have a look let's bring you over here let's have a look let's have a look, let's have a look. all right there we go there we go there it is and that's it. That's what it looks like. It looks exactly the same on the plate as it did in the pan. Um, so let's let's not dally, children. Let's have a taste test. All right, we'll go for. Uh, I mean, it's got mushrooms. You got button mushrooms. And when they say button mushrooms, let's get a mushroom out. They're that tiny, you can't, you can't even get them out. <laughs> Alright, okay. Button mushroom. Right, there you go, button mushroom. This is a 1p coin. Alright, okay. It's all about money, it could be the financial times today. It's a mushroom. Right, mushrooms you get. Give me a minute. You get what is that? That was half of mushroom. Another half, half a mush. How small are they? They give you half a mushroom. Um, all in all, right. That's it. So what is that? One, two, three. Three button mushrooms. Right. Three button mushrooms. Let's give this sausage a try, shall we? Vicar. Right, there we are. A bit of sausage. Um, kind of, um, it's more, more of a saveloid than a sausage. It's not really... It's not what you'd call sausage, it's more processed. It's like a saveloy. Um, it's not it's not particularly nice. It's not it's not something you'd buy if it wasn't in this tin. You, you, you know what I mean? You wouldn't go to the shop and see them on the in the, in the, the display and say to yourself, oh yeah, I've been meaning to get those. It's not like that then. It's not very nice. So you've got three button mushrooms, three whole button mushrooms, if you put them all together. Uh, you've got a saveloy, which is, uh, it's not even a saveloy. It was, honestly, it was, it was the length of my finger. That's how long it was. And I've not got big hands. Right, so let's come to the all important bacon. Remember that one measly slice of bacon they had? Okay. I could have do that again.
nothing absolutely nothing no not a thing no nothing no taste I'd like to say there was texture but not really just disintegrated um, a waste of a waste of fork movement that was tea's nice though I think um, Yorkshire tea I'm drinking today quite nice anybody up in Yorkshire tea want to send me a big big box of tea well, right okay we've done the sausage we've done the bacon <laughs> you know what we're doing now let's go babies the egg nugget remember there was only one of these egg nuggets so I've cut it in half as you saw and and I'm going to try me one of these big boys all right here we go egg nugget sausage all right this egg nugget is it's basically it's basically a um, oh no I'll tell you what, there's two of these egg nuggets two, there's two egg nuggets <whistles> lucky lucky me it's basically a, um, a scotch egg it's a scotch egg with hardly any egg that's what you got you got a scotch egg with hardly any egg um, here goes I'm going to try it without, there's one that I've not cut up, that's the other one. Right. So they're, they're about as round as a, a 10p piece, not huge. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Madam, that only leaves, I've still got a bit of sausage there. Um, but that only leaves the beans. So I'm going to be fair to this. I'm going to separate the beans and I'm going to try a bit of bean sauce. Because the tomato sauce is very important. Alright, here goes. The sauce. Nothing. Maybe a bit too much salt, I think. Alright, here goes. Beans. They don't taste too bad. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen of the world, your all day breakfast from Hunger Breaks. If you're desperate just for something to fill a gap I'd buy soup because that it's about as far from breakfast as you're ever going to get what you've actually got is I don't even want to hold the tin what you've actually got is you've got a tin of baked beans with this these odd bits of whatever they've codgled together thrown in they call them egg and they call it bacon because there's a there's some bacon and there's some egg in there but it's not worth sharing about, it really ain't. Um, so if I were you, um, I'd buy eggs, I'd buy bacon and I'd buy sausages because they're just as easy to bloody cook. Um, like I said, cut sausages up into small pieces. They cook quicker and they're just as nice. And it saves you fanning around with your fork and knife on a camping thing. Cut into small pieces. Anyway, that was another video. Um, so there you go. I'm going to eat that because, well, I'll eat anything really. But my advice or my views on that, it can't be advice because that would be partial. I'm going to be impartial and I'd say if you're absolutely desperate for something to fill a little hole, then that probably is nowhere near as good as a tin of soup. But um, it's easy, it's convenient. It's about a pound, I think. I think 89p to one pound 30. I don't know, whatever they cost, but they're oh, it's Not very nice. 
you can actually go and buy a tin of beans and just eat the beans because that would be just about, about as good. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's what we did today and uh, next time we'll do something else. I don't know yet, there's, there's quite a few things I've got in mind. Um, I've got to take the back wheel off my bike. Um, I need a new tyre. I don't know what to do the, the boat for, just get the matching for the back. I don't know what I'm going to do about it yet, but that's in a future video. Uh, my MOT for my bike is due. MOT for people that's not in England is your certificate of roadworthiness. Uh, so I put my bike on the road. That's due, so I've got to go over the bike and make sure that's all right. Um, there's a few other things. Uh, I'm going to do a few more foodie things because uh, the camping season is coming up and we'll be looking at food just to take camping with us. Uh, we tried the all day breakfast, dismal. I don't, I can't see me buying it again. I really can't. Uh, I have bought it in the past, and like I said it's it's to fill it's to fill a gap. But there's better ways to fill the little hunger gap, so we'll be doing that. Um, so until next time, this is me. It's Annex from the ship because it's about minus two out there. Everything's frozen over and frosty. Um, I'll see you next time. We are approaching the end of January. Um, the the prize that the all-in-one waterproof suit. Um, so far, I have a winner. But there's still plenty of time to put a bid in for that. Uh, basically, the question was, what can I do to improve my shed? Because it was a right tip. Go back to earlier videos. Look at my shed. Give me your opinions. Because uh, and the winning one will will win the uh, oversuit. Again, go back to previous videos. It's a it's a lovely, um, what are they called, RT? I don't know. Go back to the videos and have a look. Um, but you win it, I'll post it free to you. Um, let me know what you've, your, put it in the comments thing. I'll reply to your comment. Um, I'll put the email address, should be there somewhere. So um, email me a comment. Or just get in touch with me with your winning comment. And if you win, if I like it, my discretion, you will get the suit. So there you go. Easy as that. Easy, isn't it? Easy. I've given you, no, I've given you something for nothing. Have it, take it, with my blessing, take it. Until then, ride safe. I've seen a few people out in this weather. It's icy, it's cold, rather you than me. But please stay clear of the loonies. There's enough of them. Until next time.